No one identify the people station for the Virgin Islands. I'm the one, I'm the one, I'm the one for you, girl. I am the one. I am the guy on the radio, and, I, and I'm going to buy you some yum-yums and, like, put some ketchup and mayo on it and your french fries, and that's me. <laughs> I'm that guy. I, I care about you. <laughs> I gotta stop talking crazy, man. 773 FM FM. Now, good morning to everybody out there. We're officially live on the Big Fat Morning Show, and we're also live on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Big Fat Morning Show. Big P, I mean, fat with a P H A T. You know what I mean? Get on our Instagram, get on Twitter, Big Fat Morning Show, or Twitter, Big Fat Mornings. Now, right now, we have Miss St. Croix herself, Miss L. Good morning. Morning, morning, L. Morning. How you doing this morning? I am doing great. Happy to be here. Happy to be alive. Another day, another opportunity. Time to get it. Time to get it. Time to get it. So what you got going on? Okay, so I know you telling you were telling me you were going to no, Ireland last time you were here. And you were going, you yes, going off so Ireland Yes, so I just came back from the States again. I had my pre-orientation for mm -hmm. graduate school. Did some pre-apartment hunting. Excited about that. So I will definitely be starting, let's say, like mid-August, maybe like the 21st, will be my first orientation. So pretty excited about that. The first orientation, college. Look, she's all grown up. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Then college for the second time. How did that feel to go to college for your second time around? So I feel like graduate school is a whole nother level, a whole nother world. Um, but I am open and I am ready to get back in that educational mindset. So definitely ready. Definitely, definitely prepared mentally. You're prepared mentally. So now I heard that you're also preparing others mentally. Talk to me about this. <laughs> So I have an event. It is a literacy appreciation event on Saturday, uh, July 22nd from 12 to 3 p.m. It's at the Rotary Club West, and it is entitled Literature Hate. It is blazing the imagination with a fire for reading. It is basically implementing the summer reading challenge uh, that was given by Governor Mapp. Wait, round of applause. <laughs> Because the summer reading challenge was big. I, I, I really loved that last yeah. year and glad yeah. that it came back this year. So, you know, it's definitely great, you know, to get the kids out, physically active with all the summer camp activities. But, you know, we still need to make sure that we have that time to stimulate their minds, you know, in a academia aspect. Absolutely. So now, how do you go about doing that? Because I know, I know a lot of parents want to know, like, how do I get my kids more into into um you know reading into books into learning and stuff like that like yeah yeah you gotta give me at least one trade secret there's definitely a lot of summer programs that you know are still uh, academic based i know like there's uh -huh. a couple of programs and still a lot of summer camps do have like reading time or you know um into their their programs absolutely uh my son i put my son at az academy and he was doing a lot of work homework and then still you know bike riding the hiking great island adventure camp. <laughs> yes <laughs> it's, it's crazy i love yes. it and so but you got to tell me how you're gonna go about getting these kids involved and, you know i'll be, be trying to get some trade secrets or some of y'all you look like you're like the best person with kids and i love kids like like so 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 how do you keep them engaged we have to find out their interests as a speaker and as a leader you know it's great to get up there and give the information that you want to share but you still have to find out what will grasp your audience to understand the point that you're trying to get across so with kids we have to find out what they're interested in you have to be interactive with them you know, not so just to be the lecturer. You have to be the student as well as the teacher. Oh, okay. So, so you say it's a, it's a learning process for yes, both sides. Yes, it's a learning process for both. Nice, 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 nice. So what time does this kick off? How can parents get involved? Tell me all about it. For Literature Heat? Yes. So if you want to get in contact with me, my email is elle dot Nielsen, that is N I E L S E N ninety two at gmail dot com. Once again, for him, once again, from E L L E dot N I E L S E N ninety two at gmail dot com. Dot com. I have my phone with me twenty four seven. That is my calendar. That is my life. I did you try the Google Calendar thing yet? Definitely did. Awesome. 
You like it? Love it. Okay, okay. okay Love okay, it. Okay. <laughs> I, I, you, you're welcome. I put you on. I like to put my friends on. Because some friends put me on, and after that, my life became organized. It's dope. And I'm, I'm not an organized person. It's definitely dope. It's definitely dope. <laughs> so send out an email right now, l.nilson93 at gmail.com. 92, 92. 92. Sorry. 92. Sorry, I changed my key on that. <laughs> sorry, 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 sorry. 92, 92, 92, yes. Definitely, man. So, what other what other things you got going on? Also, I heard that after this, you like you you you're running back out of the country again. I am. So, as I said previously, I got accepted to Florida State University for graduate school. It was definitely a difficult program to get in, but by the grace of God, I am in and I am ready. And it's a two year program, so ready to do that. Uh, with my master's degree, I am planning to come back home and implement a performing arts degree program in the University of the Virgin Islands. Wow. And then I will have a well thought out um, proposal so that I can get that. It's going to be a rigorous process, but I am ready and that's what I want to do. That's what I'm talking about. Round of applause one more time. L, L U. After you get your master's, you're coming back to implement something that we don't have yes. in the United States Virgin Islands. Mm -hmm. University of the uh, Virgin Islands. Oh man, this sounds like great. Can can I can I just be on the sidelines cheering with like? With, you could, you could, like, you could wanna, be a part of the team. I don't want to be like, woo! I know her. <laughs> I know, I know her. <laughs> Definitely, I want to, um, you know, open up those resources, you know, for people that are not able to, you know, are not able to go abroad and experience what I have experienced. I want to bring that back home. I love home. Definitely. We have a lot of potential here. I see it, I see it, I see it. And we're constantly producing these major stars, major athletes, major, I mean, we people have a doing. Lot of talking about talent, I am very excited about this Christmas in July, most definitely. Oh, yeah, definitely. Big, 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 big thing. Definitely exciting. Most definitely will be attending uh, all the events that I can. I know the All Star game is the same day as my event, but as soon as my event is finished, I'm definitely heading over to the All Star game. Definitely. I think tonight is the VIP. VIP. Most with music event. by DJ Slick. Hey! <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, most definitely excited to see how um, Rocking Christmas is coming back home and being such a stepping pillar in the community with his talents as well. Definitely. Definitely, man. I also heard, I heard Natalie's on her way home. Oh, and you already know how we're going to hook up. I can't wait to do this. <laughs> I was like, you know, yes, you gotta come to the interview. On the way home. And she, she's like, no. I'm like, no, you're coming to do the interview. She's like, no. I'm like, yes, you're coming to do it. She's like, I'm gonna fine. make sure Natalie comes and does the interview. She We're has gonna, no choice now. She has no choice. She has absolutely choice. no choice. Miss <laughs> <laughs> so. L. Nelson, tell her one more time. What time does the literature so uh, start literature, on Saturday? He, I am still definitely looking for participants. Yes, my target audience is the students, but adults, if you have any literary and performing arts talents that you want to come and showcase, so that it could be a big mixture of just greatness in that room on Saturday, it is July 22nd, 12 p.m. to 3 p.m. at the Rotary Club West. 12 to 3, West Side Rotary Club, man, oh man, and to get in touch with you one more time, how do you get in touch? So my email is e l l e dot N-I-E-L-S-E-N 92 at gmail.com You heard it here first. Miss St. Croix, Miss L. Nielsen in the building. One more time, round of applause for you. I gotta give you that round of applause. You're doing big <laughs> things, man. And you, you're doing things that are, uh, like, astronomical. Like, oh, I gotta... it's, and it's less than, what are we, July 20th. It is less than two weeks before I travel to Nevis. Um, to represent the Virgin Islands for the Miss Caribbean Culture pageant. That's why I know you're going so out another of venture. And if I'm not mistaken, Miss Shakira Ritter should be going in the 10 days uh, to JC's in Antigua. To represent the Virgin Islands, so congrats to her. Virgin Islands flags out. Y'all just make sure you just put the, you know, like the, the man on the moon and you just stick the, <laughs> the, the American the flag, flag. Just put the VIA flag when you touch down in New York. Definitely something I look forward to. <laughs> definitely. Definitely. Then, Elle, I want to thank you every time you come up here. Every time you come, it's always good vibes. You always got great news for us. You're always mm -hmm. making major moves. And you inspire so many people to do great and be mm -hmm. great. I want to thank you once again for coming through. And don't stop being awesome. I have a mission. I have a goal. Definitely, man. Do you have a 
beautiful day, and you know, much success to you on Saturday. I'm gonna see if I can sneak up and come yeah. over. You're listening. I mean, you know, I mean, you did you just three hours with the kids. I don't see, the, I don't see what's what that thing. Ain't not, <laughs> they ain't, they ain't, they ain't taking away from my schedule. I don't run over you and come back over. <laughs> I, I, I ain't got nothing right now. Thank you for having me. Anytime. Keep it locked, man. That is Miss L. Nielsen. It is the Big Fat Morning Show. Thirteen minutes after the eight o'clock. Whoa! Well, wait, 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 wait. That clock will run. Yeah, it's four, four, four minutes. Four <laughs> minutes after eight o'clock. Hour eight o four a.m. It is the Big Fat Morning Show. It's number one, aisle ninety five. Number one, I'll leave. Wave, 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 say bye. Woo!